guys got the new Arma Typhon TLR tuned. This is a really sweet looking buggy. I absolutely love the Typhon. I love my V4. Sucker is such a beast, especially upgraded, but Arma really did some nice, uh, made some nice parts for this thing, nice machine parts. Uh, 70 to 75 towers, chassis. It's got the TLR tuned, stamped on it right there. All your suspension blocks and they're fully adjustable too for racing this thing just looks really awesome can't wait to give it a rip this is actually the roller that i picked up uh, quite some time ago it's been sitting on my shelf brand new uh, but since they released this uh, new rtr model it kind of gave me the inspiration to uh put this thing together and give it a run i was lucky enough to find the new body right here on ebay so i threw on here uh, it does have the stock electronics in it uh, just like the rtr um, i'm running a spectrum 2050 kv motor with a vlx 185 esc and uh, the Power HD 23 kilogram servo. I'm on 6S. The only upgrade I did is I added in the beautiful M2C racing chassis braces right here. It was stock, it comes with plastic, so I definitely wanted to upgrade that out of the gate. The diffs are still stock. The only thing I did is I added in the uh, included shims in the front and in the rear to tighten up that ring and pinion a little bit. So I haven't messed with the fluids yet. I'm just gonna run her like this and see how it goes. I did add a piece of rubber up here to help protect this front tower from any kind of hits. It's basically some boat cooling line that I uh, cut in half and zip tied up there just to protect that tower. I also added on this T-Bone Racing Typhon front bumper right here just to help protect that front end from any smacks. Again, it's just really sweet. This thing does have the uh, low C inspiration in it. I absolutely love my low C uh, Truggy XTE. Thing is such a tank and a super lightweight and handles like its own rails. So we'll see how this thing does in comparison. Here's a quick shot of my V4. This thing is fully M2C-ified and truggified. It's got a super wide stance on it. This buggy has gotten two world records as of right now. A long jump, 265 feet. And a high vertical jump of 105 feet. I'll put a link in the description if you guys haven't seen that video. This thing has taken a complete beating. Big shout out to M2C Racing. I wouldn't have been able to do any of that if it wasn't for them and their upgrades on this thing. And real quick, wanted to show you some new releases from M2C Racing. This is the uh, top plate 7075 M2C Racing top plate for the Arma 6S range. Beautiful, beautiful work. It's nice and lightweight. Uh, but super tough. That should be on the website if you guys uh, want to upgrade uh, your top plate on your 6S Armas. And also these beautiful M2C Racing shock towers for the tracks of Sledge. They'll be coming soon. These are in testing. I mean, this again, this beautiful work by Mitch and Avery. So you guys keep a lookout for those. Forgot to mention, guys, I am running a 17 tooth pinion. I don't want to over gear this thing and blow the tires off of it first run. So it should be a sweet spot for this thing. All right, guys, here she goes. Oh, you haven't bashed a type in so long. This feels nice. Ah, first tumble. love how she floats.
the old TLR taking a beating. Looks like that chassis is taking it so far. God, that was a loud chassis slap. It's still running. Guys, this is an awesome buggy. Almost didn't get it around. Still going. Oh, curb. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for the first test on this thing. Big shout out to Arma for this TLR uh, platform on the Typhon. This thing is such a beast, it's super tough. Uh, nothing's uh, broke on the car, even after all these jumps and hard ramp hits. You guys can see that chassis from what I can tell just by looking at it, it's still perfectly straight, so it's a really strong chassis. Also, these towers uh, are still straight. Had a couple of hard rolls and I don't see anything bent out of the ordinary. I did bust this front body post up here on a hard landing, so I just that's why I have to uh, gorilla tape it down here to hold the front of the body down. So I need to uh, pull the top plate and run another screw in it. The tires have held perfectly. They haven't come unglued on me, which is really nice. Again, I'm running the 17 tooth pinion, so she's definitely got some, uh, some wheel spin. I do need to go in and tune the diffs on this thing to get some better air control and faster corrections and stuff, but other than that, a whole lot of fun, and I uh, can't wait to get it out again. I do plan on racing it too at my local track, so can't wait to uh, try that. Get her set up for that. All right, guys, we'll get out again. Until next time, RC Dude 81. Peace out. Mm -hmm.